Another broad category of drawings that you can do with Visio are scaled or measured drawings. So in this video, let's just take a few minutes to create a very simple office layout plan. Now we'll start with our start screen and we'll just go to the floor plans category or we can go here to categories and let's see if we can find it here. Maps and floor plans, they seem to be the red ones. And see I double clicked there and I should have single clicked and it accidentally selected the template underneath so be careful there. Let's go to, let's see, floor plan or let's just do an office layout and we'll choose US units and we'll create that and you can see it looks like a letter sized piece of paper. It's blank. It's got a bunch of stencils, lots of stencils open here. You can see there's a, one of those disappearing scroll bars. And if you look at the ruler, you'll see right away it's 0 feet to 22 feet and 0 feet to about 17 feet tall. That means this page is set up in, in scaled units because this is still going to print out on one size of letter size paper, one sheet of letter size paper but we get to work and scale the units so we don't have to think in our head oh I have to I have to scale this thing let's see if it's actually 12 feet I have to make it you know three inches long you don't have to do that and in fact if we drag a room out onto the page you can see we get four walls for free let's zoom in just a little bit and you can see that that says 10 feet up there and this is eight feet down here and sure enough if you look in the status bar it says 10 feet by eight feet so you don't have to do any of this conversion in your head just work with the shapes on the page and trust that Visio has the scale in mind to save you the trouble. Now it might be that we have a very large office and we can just select the, the walls here and say the width is actually 12 feet. So I can enter that straight into the shape data because this shape, these, uh, th this uh, pre-made wall room shape has two shape data fields that allow me to conveniently change the size of the office. So we'll hit 12 feet like that and I will zoom out to the whole page to see that it fits. Now it's important to note that you can change the scale of the drawing and we'll just take a quick look at that right now. If you go to the design tab and hit page setup dialog box launcher you'll see there's a drawing scale tab and we can see, you can see that we have one half inch equals one foot zero inches. Now you can change the scale up or down and sometimes it's hard to keep in mind what this really means. So if I go to a smaller value on the left, to 3 8 inches, then I'll actually be able to represent more stuff on my page. And rather than keep this in your mind, just watch what happens to those text boxes just below here. So when I click on that, it shows me how much space can be represented on this page. So now, it's tw now I can get almost 30 feet across by 22 feet down. If I go the other way to 1 inch, then I can only represent 11 feet by 8.5 feet on my page. I'll hit apply just so you can see what that does and you can see that the shape still stays 12 feet by 12 feet but the page represents uh, less space in space so to speak so this this won't work for the drawing we want to do and I'll just hit undo but it's important to know that you can control the drawing scale. So now once we have the walls here it may be that I have kind of a false wall in my office so I'll just do this like this. Maybe there's just kind of a an empty space when you come in. Uh, and I've put a wall in here. Maybe there's kind of a half wall. Now we could do it like this where we have, I'll just control drag a copy of it like this, where we have an actual opening. Or we can just create the wall and then look for the opening shape which is kind of like a, a door and just drop it right on there and Visio will rotate that for us automatically. We can make it a little bit bigger like that and the neat thing about that is if I move the wall the opening goes with it. Similarly you can put windows and doors on your space plan and Visio helps you to orient those things properly just the way you'd want to. We'll drop some windows like this, like this. Maybe we have two windows. It's a really nice big office. And it may be that these windows are actually longer. So I can resize these windows by pulling on the handles, or I can select all three of them at once and use the shape data to say, oh, these are actually 4 foot or 48 inch windows. I'll just do like that. And we can tweak their location by hitting the up and down arrows. Just select the shape and move it like that. Maybe they're fairly evenly spaced. And you might not like the opening of the door. Maybe the door actually opens to the left. We'll just right click on the shape 
and you can reverse the left-right opening, and you can even play with how the door opens just by pulling on this yellow control handle. So there are a lot of options with the shapes. There's shape data to control size and other, other properties, and you can right-click on shapes to do some special things too. So now that you have your walls and doors and windows and openings, let's add some furniture. And as I said, there are lots of stencils here to deal with. So let's just pull the office furniture stencil out and float it so we can have a better look at what's going on. And if I can find the, the grip to make that bigger, we can get a two-column view of our, our shapes. And I'm going to take this corner surface desk and just rotate it around like that. And maybe it's not really curved at the end, so I can just get rid of the curve by moving that control handle up there. And we'll just nudge it into the corner using the arrow keys like that. Maybe there's a work surface next to it, and I think these actually snap together like that, which is really nice. And let's just put a chair in there just for fun. Let's see, where's the chair? There's a chair, there's an office chair like that. And you can use the rotate handle, or you can just use this control handle that's put in just for convenience. The neat thing about that is you can kind of glue that onto the table, and the chair always points at the table, which could be useful in some circumstances. And then out here in this entry area, we'll put some, some nice chairs so that people can kind of uh, relax. And I'll just do, a, just do a control drag to co copy that and put two there. So and some arrow keys and move that like that. So we've got some a waiting area that people can sit there like that. Maybe there's a round table like that, and that's a little bit big, so we'll, we'll choose, a, choose a smaller one. It's still gotta be big enough for a few magazines, but people can come here and in here and wait like that. And maybe it makes sense that the door should go down like this, so like something like that, so people can actually come in and have the space to use. So whether you're drawing an existing office or planning one that you might be built out, you can see there's some serious utility here to working in Visio. Uh, it's very easy to use the shapes. They have lots of built-in features, some nice automatic things like snapping of the walls and windows and doors onto the, onto the walls themselves. So there you have it, a very simple office plan. It's not gorgeous, but we only had a few minutes to do it, and uh, hopefully this will open your mind to even more possibilities of what you might do with Visio 2013.